So before we add a subnet to a site in Active Directory, let's take a look at the sites that I currently have set up in my demo environment. You can see I've just got one site. <laughs> it's just a default site. And so I'm going to take the site, I'm going to assign it to the site variable here. And then to find all the subnets that we have in our environment currently, we're just going to use the get 80 replication subnet commandlet and use the filter parameter and just specify an asterisk to get all of them. And I've got a whopping none. <laughs> so let's get them at it. So to add a subnet, we use the new 80 replication subnet command that we give it a name and you notice this name has a very specific Saturn notation. So this will fail if you use any other type of notation here. And I'm optionally specifying the site name that I want to associate the subnet with by using the site parameter and giving it site.name. So this site name is just the default first site name. And so if we add that, we can again use the get 80 replication subnet command that and look at the filter for asterisk but I'm gonna be a little more specific here and look specifically for the subnets that have a site equal to our current site so the site.name and again that's going to return the same subnet but I just want to show you that the filter parameter here worked as well and if we want to add multiple subnets you can do that so the name parameter doesn't accept an array unfortunately but what I can do here I'm gonna use a for each loop here to build an array of subnets here's what that variable actually looks like so 20 to 25 all slash 24s and so for each of those subnets, I'm going to use the new 80 replication subnet commandlet and create it in that same site. So we're just going to end up with a bunch of subnets in our, our first site. And if you've only got one site, you're going to want to have all your subnets in there anyway, right? And so again, I'm going to use the get 80 replication subnet commandlet to look at all my sites. And I'm specifically filtering for subnets that are in just my default first name site. And then popping it to format table to get some good output. So there you go. Thanks for watching.